who doesn't just absolutely love a Baja Grocery Getter lift kit on their RV? I mean, come on. Normally, coming into a driveway like that, it would have been two miles an hour. You would have worried about dragging or ripping off the whole back of your RV. But that's just a thing of the past. Kind of like, I can't wait till this craziness that's going on in the world right now is all just a thing of the past and we don't have to focus on it or don't worry about it anymore. And that's kind of like the Baja Grocery Getter Kit for RVs. Once you do it, you're done and you just love it. You just love driving your RV. You're just happy to get out on the road again and have some fun. So let's check this thing out. Let's see what we did to this craziness. And if I didn't tell you who I was already, I'm that crazy guy, Jeremy from Weld Tech Designs that just loves showing off all the craziness that we do here at the Weld Tech Designs Laboratory. So without further ado, back to your regularly scheduled program of this awesome RV review inside and out. We're going to show it to you all. So make sure you guys stay till the end and also make sure that you smash that subscribe button because if you found just a little bit of information, you want to see some more of it, you want to watch more videos with the mute button turned on. And we're going to go back and enjoy this. All right. So dude, check this thing out. I love it. I never get sick of these things. So what we're doing, how we're getting our lift out of this. If you're new to the channel. Okay. If you've never seen one of these before, we're putting a massive coil in here. This coil is a lot bigger than the other one. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I walked you through all of these parts in another video and I'll put a card up above so you guys can check that out. Back to this video, I'll put a link in it too. So then that way you can watch this whole video through and don't have to worry about going back and forth. So another thing that we're doing is we're putting our Fox shock on here. The Fox shock is specifically valved for this front end. So it's going to work really well. And a lot of people ask, well, can I just run Bilstein's? They're a lot cheaper. And yeah, you can. We're not telling you you can't. We're just telling you what we're doing and what we're doing different to try to make this the best possible ride you could get. Another thing that we're doing, we have our modified I-beams in order to correct the camber. And the one thing that I'm super stoked to put out and we can announce it in this video is now this kit is also available now in a do-it-yourself kit. So if you want to buy the kit, have us ship you the whole thing, you can do that now. And I'll put a link down below where you can do all that as well. Modified beams, extended radius arms and brackets, which is key to this because when you look in here, we have a ton of room in this wheel well. You can see that now we actually have more room in the back part of the wheel well than we do the front. And the benefit is so that when you decide to go to a larger tire, you have the ability to do so. And you're not going to have to do any trimming right here. You're going to keep your step the way that it is. And that's going to be really nice. That's key to this. We don't want to be trimming and butchering all this stuff. The biggest thing that you may have to do is trim this little front fender part and that's going to be it. So this kit is awesome. We've also thrown a Fox steering stabilizer up there in the front, which is rad. That helps reduce the feedback. So when you're hitting those bumps, driving down that washboard road or coming into the driveway like that, it's going to absorb all that energy and you're not going to get it all in the steering wheel and feel like you're wacky and out of control. So this thing is awesome. And the next one that we're going to do, I can't wait for this. We're going to also add our new front bumper to it, a winch bumper. Who doesn't want a winch bumper on their RV? Nobody. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait to show that to you guys. So make sure you stay tuned to the next video where we're going to put a winch bumper on the RV. Love it. Watch out for this mirror. This mirror kicked my butt the last time, man. I got up and geez, it was just bad news. So this thing, we're coming in at about 30 feet. This is awesome. So one thing about this is this is going to have the full wall slide right here. So a lot of weight, but even with our springs, it's not an issue whatsoever, which is rad. Um, I will tell you something else that I saw on this one, which is kind of cool that you don't see. And this allows you to inflate both of your tires by simply using the one inlet right here and you can fill up both tires. And it also tells you what your, the pressure should be and what it is. So 
something cool. We don't see this on a lot of things. So if you sometimes have a difficult time getting to your inner tire in order to fill it up, just you know, consider this as an option in order to do that. So as we talk about what we've done in the rear of this, we've added our massive set of springs to the rear of this. And as Austin pokes his head in there, you'll see that and it looks super rad. Um, we've also lowered the sway bar in this to accommodate the new lift. And in addition, to top it all off, we added another set of Fox shocks to the rear to make this thing amazing. So I will tell you that if you guys are gonna start doing these at your house, there is some things that typically we will have to do as far as shimming your driveline angle. So some of these come with shims in them already. And like this one had two like four inch shims in there in order to get that driveline angle. This one, we didn't really have to mess with it as much. So if you're considering lifting your RV, maybe you wanna poke your head under there, see how your driveline angle looks, or once you install the kit, uh, you're gonna have to address that, give us a call. We can also help you out with that. That's not a problem, but just things to keep in mind when considering this lift. We wanna make sure that we go over everything with you so there is no questions um, or concerns when doing this. And as you can notice, we're putting a ton of these videos up because it's just that awesome. And later on, maybe we can get the customer to go for a ride. We'll get his review on this whole thing as well. But super rad. I think that's enough of the outside. Oh, you know what? I do want to mention this. We showed you guys in my video, I showed you how low these, uh, the leveling jacks were on this. So let's go check that out back up front. In the beginning, before we lifted this, we showed you just how low these jacks were and I could barely get my fist underneath it. You can see that now we could, this is a double fister now, you know, two fists underneath it, not a problem whatsoever. A lot more room. We're not gonna be dragging these things on the ground. We're not gonna be ripping them off and we're not gonna worry about pulling into driveways anymore and tearing these things off and causing a lot of damage underneath, which is going to be expensive. So when you offset the money that I'm gonna save you when we lift this thing versus ripping these things off, I think you're gonna be ahead putting our lift kit on. Let's jump to the back of this thing and show you the back leveling jacks too, just how much room we have back there. Now this is incredible now. You can see just how much additional clearance we have back here. And that's really important because the overhang of these RVs, like this is the part that we know a lot of times can get hung up, pulling in and out of driveways or just going over, you know, not really speed bumps, maybe some big speed bumps, but this is a huge hang up. And as you can see in this, this nice little shelf, there's already rocks in here just from this thing dragging wherever these guys were that's not gonna happen anymore. So that's really cool. Another great thing about this lift is gonna give you how much more clearance that's gonna give you. So if you don't have the jacks or you're thinking about putting them on, that is awesome. And this is a garage model. So let's jump around to the other side now and get into the fun part and check out the inside of this coach. All right, so the garage is locked so we don't get to check that out. And as I'm sure as I walk around to this, let's see, I got a 50-50 shot at this. Half the time when I go, oh, the TV? Oh, no, TV's locked too. Let's see. Oh, it's open. I never, it's usually always locked. All right. All right, so when the slide out is in, it's definitely a little bit smaller in here. And that's because this is a garage model. So you're not going to have as much room when it's closed up. So you're going to have the couch here, which is awesome. And then here in the back, you're going to have your back bedroom. This is going to, when the slide goes out, you're going to have your full queen size bed back here and then you will have your toilet bathroom i mean look how big that bathroom is you're not getting that on any sprinter van right there so pretty cool and then the garage is going to take up the back the remaining like four or five feet of this in order to put bikes or whatever else they may put in there so still you're going to have the ability to sleep you know six people in here comfortably because you're also going to have the queen size bed up on the top and look at that massive like 35 inch television up there as well, which is rad. You're not gonna see that in any Sprinter van. So full size sink, uh, an oven, that's what these are. My wife tells me about these things. I don't really know how to use them much. Uh, maybe one day I will learn. And then you got your fridge and freezer. So, and that's actually, that's the cooktop and that's the, no, that would be the oven, but there is no oven in this. See, so I do know something about <laughs> cooking. There it is. All right, guys, that's it. Unless we get to take the owners for a test drive, this video is done. So 
I hope you enjoyed it. Smash that subscribe button, a big thumbs up, comment below if you have questions. Thank you very much for watching and surviving this crazy time. And I am Jeremy and I will see you later.